She's the Mortgage Mom. Welcome to Mortgage Mom Radio. I'm Debbie Marcoux, and today I am interviewing my staff. We are doing highlights on all of my team members, and today it's all about Heather Barkley Kilpatrick. How you doing, Heather? I'm good. How are you, Deb? I am good. So this is Heather Barkley Kilpatrick, and we're doing team interviews today. We're doing highlights on them because I want everybody to know who they are when you call my <laughs> office and you happen to be on the phone with Heather or Cindy or Carrie. I want you guys to know who you're working with, what their experience level is, and why the mortgage mom herself would have hired them to be on her team. So I'm going to just start with what year did you get into the business? 1996. 1996. <laughs> I know. I actually started before you believe it well, or not. That was the year that I was licensed. I was working for years before that as a li as an assistant. Correct. So, so when did you start working for? Uh, 1991. 1991. Oh, that sounds even worse. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you, um, so I'm going to ask you to go all the way back to where your roots are, where you okay. got started. So you were working for? My mom. Actually, my mom is, was a top producing agent out here locally. And I I grew up in the business. So pretty much everybody in my family was in real estate somehow or another. My mom, my stepdad, my aunt sold new homes, my grandmother sold new homes. So it was kind of like in my blood. And my mom had been doing it since she was pregnant with me you know, way back when. And so it just kind of felt natural growing up in the business. I would go to open houses. I would fly her one side of the street. My mom would drive in the air conditions car down the middle of the road. And my brother would fly her the other side of the street. And we'd go home in the 80s. And it was like, you're not getting dinner until you label 500 pieces of mail. Oh, do you remember when the title companies would yes. send home the labels yes. and you'd have to pull them off and you'd give yourself oh. little nicks underneath of your nails, yes. put them on the envelopes? Yeah. We had a system down. I learned that if I folded them over, I could put them on the table and get them all off at once. And so we did that. And, you know, my mom is famous. If you know my mom, and you will appreciate this, mom, when are you going to be home? I'll be there in 20 minutes. 20 minute mom time was like three hours later. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she would take you, say, hey, we're going to go to the grocery store and then you get in the car and it was like you were trapped mom's driving it's like okay mom this isn't the way to the grocery store oh i just got to stop off at my listing oh three hours in the car <laughs> you're like, waiting for you're waiting. waiting to get to the grocery store yeah. yeah i get it or you're sitting out front the school and you're waiting for to be picked up school right? orthodontist uh -huh. dentist absolutely girl scouts didn't yep. matter yep <laughs> well and now when my kids are like mom you didn't make mm -hmm. it i'm like yeah uh-huh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah i, I yeah. totally understand it now for sure i appreciate it because it allowed me to go with her on clients and listen to how she talked with them and how she answered. And I think it made me more caring in the business because I respect that. It was a completely different time and, and people were different. I appreciate it. Yeah. Very, very similar to my story, which is, you know, I, and yes. I know that you feel the same way is that, you know, you, people ask you like, how did you learn what you do? How, yeah. how do you know what you know? And, and yeah. there wasn't really a school that you went to. It was, no. it was growing up in it. Right. You know, it was understanding it from the time yeah. that you can even remember, you know, walking your mom was putting mm -hmm. open house signs in the side and you were in the back of the station wagon yep. and you were handing the signs to them, you know, so that they could yeah. jump out really fast and yep. put them in or they would pop the trunk and have you jump out. I was in the back <laughs> of the station wagon and she would, sl I, if I was lucky, she'd slow down you know, <laughs> and get out and stick the sign out, run after the car. Anyway, it. so I love that. So 91, yeah, 91 and you just basically started, you know, in diapers with a, a for sale sign Pretty in much. your hand. I was born with one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you, you know, move on to today and yeah. now you're here with me and we've yeah. been friends since going all the way back back and my mom 80s. was a realtor and your mom was a realtor and we yeah. both all grew up with the latch key. They worked and, together. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and same company. Yeah. Well, that's, and so that's why I'm, ha I'm doing these interviews, <laughs> these spotlights. I want everybody to understand who's working for me. Where yeah. do they come from? What is their knowledge? Mm -hmm. You certainly have an extreme piece of knowledge between growing up in it, doing the real estate side, then going to law school. I did. Now you're on the mortgage side with me. Yeah. And so, you know, if you're going to ask for somebody that's fully well-rounded in the industry, <laughs> Uh, Heather Barkley Kilpatrick is your girl. So always happy to answer. Yep. Now, yep. again, this is Mortgage Mom Radio. We can't end it without talking about kids. So you're yes, a mom. What's I your am. deal? I have two amazing boys. Uh, I have one. My oldest is 14, um, a freshman in high school. That's interesting. And uh, my youngest is nine and he's in third grade. And they're your typical boys. You know, absolute boy mom. I love it. People are like, what's boy mom? And it's like, you know what? We're in the desert, in the dirt, in the water. And I absolutely, I'm a tomboy. So I I absolutely love it. And again, that is why she's with Mortgage Mom Radio. So a quick, quick highlight. You are yeah. part of my team. I love that you're here. I love Thank that you. I have you. And I hope that everybody that just watched this um, understands who Heather is. And if you guys need something, you need anything at all, she is your girl. Give her a call. She has the knowledge. If you can't talk to her,
to me, she's better than I am. So <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Yes. Thank you all. Have a great day. Thank Bye. you, Heather. Bye. Thanks. Pick up the phone and call mom. <laughs> <laughs> 